in your class. Today, I'll be taking why I'm turning the cream. And our topic of today says homonyms. Let me hear you. That's beautiful. Homonyms. Again, yes. You may ask me, what is uh, what are homonyms? Well, homonyms are ways that have the same spelling, may sound alike, but have different words meaning. What this text is telling us is that homonyms are grammatical vocabularies, which may have the same spelling, and they may also sound words alike, but their meaning differs. They have different meanings. They don't have the same meaning. Some of the examples of homonyms include, as I'm reading them, you will study them with me. Number one says, late. Late. The word late is a homonym. This is because it doesn't have one meaning. Late could mean what? Not punctual. That's not early. When you say, she was late to school. When you hear this now, automatically, you will be able to know that the lace we are talking about has to do with what? Punctuality. It's talking about that the girl didn't come early. So the example includes late, not punctual. And the sentence says, why did you come late today? Why did you come late today? So now looking at this sentence, you will know that the late here refers to words, not punctual. We also have another late here. And this late here is talking about what? Death. For example, when you say, the woman's husband is late. The woman's husband is late. Here, it tells us that the woman's husband is what? Is dead. We also have another example of what? Homonym. That is what? Refuse. Again, refuse. In this place now, the pronunciation may differ a little. Yes, the sound may differ a little. This is what? Refuse. And the refuse here is what? Waste. I will discuss the refuse later. Again, I will discuss the refuse later. So the refuse here that we are referring to is what? The waste, the garbages. That's the refuse we are talking about here. And that same refuse have the same word spelling as what? Refuse. For different pronunciation. Say after me, refuse. That's what? Reject. The sentence says, she may refuse his offer. She may refuse his offer. That's, she may reject his word, his offer. Another example of common is what? Can. Can. The can here is what? The thing. He's talking about thing. You can say, he threw the can away after consuming the drink. He threw the can away after consuming the drink. Thus, he threw the thing away after consuming the what? The drink. This is can. And here we say what? Can. Do you notice any difference? Yeah, there is little difference between them. The A in pronunciation of can is what? The strong R, that is can. Why? The can here, that's ability. The A is the word, the weak form of A. Uh, I can. It's not I can. It is what? I can. The example says, the young lady can sing very well. The young lady can sing very well. So, this is an example of what? Harmony. It has the meaning of what? Ability. This can means what? Ability. And at the same time, can also means what? Thin. Then we now switch over to the next one. That is what? Fun. Fun here as the homonyms who refers to as what? A supporter. A supporter. Somebody that admires you. Somebody that likes you. For example, you can say, Rose is a fan of the musician. Again, Rose is a fan of the musician. Here, the fan refers to what? A supporter. Rose is a supporter of the musician. And fan at the same time also means what? An object, a cooling object. An object that can cool 
an environment. For example, you can say they have a big fan in their sitting room. Again, they have a big fan in their sitting room. So, this is an example of the fan I'm talking about. They have a sitting fan in their sitting room. So, the fan there could refer to what? A supporter. And at the same time, it could also mean what? A cooling object. An object that can cool what? An environment. There are so many examples of words, synonyms, but we are limiting the examples to this place. Please, if you have any question, remember to address them through the school management, and I'll be happy to tackle them.